So I've been working on a game. I made a lot of progress this past weekend and realized I wanted to share the work that I did. But then I realized before I start making any normal devlogs, I should probably take a moment and get everyone up to speed first. So long story short, a few years ago, I wanted to try my hand at making games, did some research, and ended up following an online course off and on over a couple years to learn how to use Unity and program in C Sharp. Eventually, I broke off from the course to start applying what I learned to my own idea just as practice. The idea I initially landed on was simple enough to be doable as a beginner, and this is what it looked like. A 2D game with a plane that would fly over the level and drop bombs and spray bullets onto enemies scattered across the destructible tile map. The player had a limited number of flyover passes and ammunition to clear out all of the enemies, after which they would advance to the next level. So I experimented for a while with level design, different weapon types like bouncing bombs and nukes, and eventually made a level that I'd spent the better part of an hour trying to beat. So that challenging level made me continuously say to myself, okay, just one more try. And that made me realize that I could probably expand this idea into something I could maybe release one day. So as a huge fan of games like Left 4 Dead and Half-Life, which I had a lot of nostalgia with, I thought it'd be more interesting and more my style to replace those tiny soldiers with some zombies. So here's how that turned out. I adapted what I had before and made it about a lone pilot survivor in the middle of an apocalypse who is making their way by plane to some sort of safe haven where he helps other survivors below by providing some sort of makeshift air support from above without accidentally hitting any of the survivors below. And every now and then the plane runs out of fuel and so he's forced to land, get out on foot, and avoid all the infected while they gather fuel for the plane before continuing on. So that little piece of narrative allows me to break up the monotony of what is normally an arcade style game and put the player in control of the same pilot but in a platformer environment. Additionally, while on the ground looking for fuel, the pilot might happen upon a new weapon to be used on ground and from the plane moving forward. So as it stood, I have five unlockable weapons, 25-ish levels with varying colors and moods, a cutscene where the plane runs out of fuel and starts to descend, three of those refueling platformer-style levels to provide that change of pace, and a title screen with a placeholder name for the game because yeah, it still does not have one actually, mostly because the world of zombie games is a pretty crowded place. So anyway, not a bad start, and actually not really a ton of time, at least in terms of the actual development. And now I realize that where it stands at the moment, this is basically what has become my prototype, and that puts me at kind of a crossroads. You see, the game is at a point where I need to look at starting to dial in those final versions of my art assets and creating a new tile map, which are things I really need to do before I start to use those and duplicate them and build out the final levels and add polish to the game. So with that said, this is where I decided I wanted to do something I've been thinking about for quite a while now, which is to move the game from Unity to Godot. So that's what I'm doing. I started that just recently in early September, and it actually only took three to four weeks to learn how to use nodes, signals, and GDScript, and get it back to being mostly feature equivalent to where I had it in Unity, just without all the levels quite yet. Right now in the Godot version, I have one flyover level, one platformer level, and those are what I've used to reconstruct all the core features from my previous version before I can then duplicate them onto the additional levels. So although I don't have all of those other levels rebuilt yet, I do have some other things now I never had in Unity. I do have a new tile map with some new art assets and some animations here and there as well, since those were shockingly easy to implement in Godot. So I mentioned I had a productive past weekend, so let's recap that really quick. I was able to add a lot of what I'd call polish, just some non-essential visual improvements. I learned about the particle generator, and I'm trying to sparingly use that because 
It sort of goes against the traditional SNES look when it's used too much, but I did use it to add this rain here, which I actually made a texture for. Some sparks for fires. And the fuse for a bomb. Also turned the particle generator into sort of a makeshift fog machine, which is a piece of zombie atmosphere I've been wanting to add for quite a while. In addition to that, I've added this parallax background, which at the moment is a little too dark. This lightning effect, which is just a directional light 2D with a simple script. And I used to have an issue where flames on the barrels would rotate with the barrel, so I fixed that. So yeah, I admit I'm definitely someone who falls in and out of phases and hobbies way too often. But all this recent progress this past week has really convinced me that I'll be able to make enough consistent progress moving forward and to be able to feed the fire of a channel like this. That should mostly get everyone up to speed. My plan is to try to do at least one of these longer form videos every month with a bunch of shorts sprinkled in between those. So if you're interested in following along for more, you know the drill. See you next time.